What's up guys, Apple Maniac here, and for this week's Tweak of the Week, I found a really cool tweak that lets you use any controller that is Bluetooth for uh, video games on your iDevice, such as like a PS3 controller, as I will demonstrate with, or a Wii remote, um, or some other remotes that I have never seen before, but they're options. So, if to get this, all you gotta do is go into Cydia and search Blue Troll. Uh, you can download it from any of these repos. But if you do plan on keeping it, I recommend that you purchase it from Big Boss. Um, just throwing that out there. Help support the developers. So uh, once you have this downloaded, you want to go into Blue Troll. Or actually, you want to go into the game that you want uh, to play. And just once all the controls are visible, take a screenshot. And I will show you in a second why that's necessary. So from here, you can add games to add game controls with this little plus. Uh, I don't need to since I already have it. So I'll click in here, Robot Unicorn. When you click game, you choose which uh, game or app you were going to use it for. And then from here, if the game is either in portrait or landscape. So mine is in landscape. So I click landscape, go to camera roll, and then I would pick the camera screenshot right here of the game so that you can see where the controls are on the screen. Um, I don't have to do that because I've already done it. But that's just an example. Then you go to controller configuration. You'd hit add and then choose the controller you want to use. I already added it, so I did PS3 controller, and it was in landscape mode, so we click that. And from here, you can see all the buttons from your controller. Normally, they were set up in a normal way, but I threw them all over the place to get them out of the way, because I only needed two buttons, L1 and R1, to jump and dash for Robot Unicorn Attack. So once that's done, you just hit done. If you messed up, you can reset it. Flip. I'm scared to push it, so I won't <laughs> push at your own warning. Um, and then you go in here. To actually turn on the controller, you just click on whichever one you want, and it'll put a little check next to it, and then you hit connect. Now, mine should already be connected, but if not, I will connect it again. Let's see. If I turn it on. Now, this can be a complicated process. Um, I will show in a future video how to connect it, because it's not just as simple as turning it on. You have to change it so the PS3 controller is not still connected to your PS3. Instead, it's connected to your phone, which can be easily switched back and forth. Uh, not a problem. So, once it's connected, all you have to do is go out to your game, and I will demonstrate this right now. Let's see. I've got the pod prop. So we touch, and we touch to start. And as you can see, I will be using these controls. I won't be touching the screen. Um, L1 was to jump, I think. Yep. And R2 was to da R1 was to dash. So clearly it is working. Uh, it's actually really cool. Oh, wow, I'm terrible. <laughs> it's a, it's cool. Um, it'd be very interesting for like uh, gun games, st um, stuff like combat or the um, zombies that are on the phone. It can make it a lot easier. Man, I am terrible. Um, so there are a lot of cool things that you could do with this. You can play any game you want like this. Um, you could even you can adapt the controls to however you want to play. I could be using the triangle button to jump if I really wanted to. Um, I think that'd be a little awkward, but if you want to, you could totally do that. Let's see, so clearly it's working. Just wanted to demonstrate that this does work. Um, you can use a Wii remote. You can use this. You can use a Bluetooth keyboard if you want. Use the Wasta controls or um, set it to whatever you want really. Um, and it works really great. It's really smooth, very responsive. Um, there's not as much of a delay as I thought there would be. So again, there will be a in-depth tutorial on how to connect specifically your PS3 controller later because it was a bit of a complicated process for me to figure out. So you guys might have some troubles. Um, but again, this is Blue Troll. It's very useful. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one.